Good morning, everybody. It is Friday morning, September 12th. I don't know what time it is, but it's or kind of early. I have to teach a class at Michael's today at 1030, so I thought I'd do a little bit of art before I leave so I can make sure I get some art in today. After work, I have to, after I teach, I have to run some errands and do family stuff tonight. Probably, I want to try to go walking. I haven't walked in a few days, so I thought I'd get some art in early this morning. And I have my year of my life journal here in front of me. I was putting some bits and pieces in here that I wanted, I felt needed to be in here. I did a couple pages and they need to dry. At the end of the year when this book is full, I will do a flip through for you all because I know that's been requested a couple times. Let me set this aside somewhere. Let's see. Okay. But I turned the camera on not to show you that, but to maybe work on another art journal in a box card. So I have another card. Wipe up. It's got wipe up paint on it. I've got all these bits and pieces out, and I've got my border box out, and I've got my bits bucket on the floor. I love these that Eileen McKinnis sent me, but I'm thinking I want these in my Year of My Life journal. And not on here. Let's see. But I have all these other bits and pieces. I kind of like that. One of you all sent me all these angel wings, which is just great. Cut out of old book text. Such a clever idea. So let me see what I can find. I'm thinking I want to pull a border, put a border on here. Let me look around and I'll be right back. Okay, I think we're going to go with these things on here. Why in particular? I don't know. They just feel right. <laughs> so I'm using um, heavy gel medium. Yeah, heavy gel medium to glue these things on today. Sometimes it's easier to just break out the heavy gel medium than it is to fuss with any other kind of glues or adhesives. It really does stick things down really well. I don't think that's what it was probably invented for because it's actually an additive you're supposed to add to acrylic paint, but it does work excellently for that, for this. Oops. Okay, the one thing I'm not sure if it's going to stick on, but I hope it will, is this flower. So we're going to just kind of put a blob on the back. I don't mind if the petals stick up. Okay. And let's smooth some of this out. Okay, I'm going to let that dry and we'll be right back. Okay, I found this little quote and picture from an old Mary Inglebright calendar. And I love this. It's uh, by Plato and life must be lived as play. I love that and I love the picture she did to go along with it. Reminds me not to take life, my art, or myself too seriously. And I love it. It seems to go perfectly with this kind of whimsical page here. So let's get that on there and then we can let all the gel medium dry before we do anything else. And I went and looked and it's, it just turned 8 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I haven't had all my coffee yet, so while this is drying I'm going to go have some breakfast. I'm going to be at the store at 10.30. <laughs> and I have a couple errands to run before this I go and a couple to do afterwards. I like that. 
All right, we're going to let that whole all, whole thing dry, and I will be right back. Okay, it's not dry all the way, but I think it's dry enough. And I'm almost to the point in my morning when I have to get ready for work. So now it's time to outline everything with um, a water-soluble pencil. The question is, what color? Because, you know, I have more than just black. <laughs> I do think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do black, though. I think I'm going to give it a shot and see how it looks. So I'm just going to outline all of my elements. I'm not going to be super careful about it because you all know I like the grungy look and we're going to be smearing this all over anyway so it's fine. Water brush. Just activate your whatever water soluble media you're using to outline your elements. I, you could use Neocolor 2 crayons, you could use any watercolor pencils. You could use actual watercolor to do this, I'm sure. You could use distress ink. I happen to think the pencils are easier. So I like to use them. Okay, I like that. I'll actually add some more. Add some more here. Here, activate it, drip some extra water on there, and then sp spread the puddle of water around a little bit. I'm going to dry that with my heat tool. I'll be right back. Okay. It's a very dark card, so I'm really wanting to do some sketchy outlining with my white Signo Uniball. Now, some of the ink may still be wet, so it's going to not write everywhere. But that's okay, because I do want it to be sketchy. that and then I'm gonna take my black stays on just because it's out and handy and I'm gonna use it to do the edging instead of the distress ink again that just because it's out and handy not because of any other reason Yeah, 
I like that a lot. So there you have it. I'm going to date stamp the back. Today is September 12th. There we go. I like that page. It's very fun, very whimsical. Let me zoom in for you guys. Oops, the wrong way. There you go. Life must be lived as play. I love that card. All right, go out and have a great day. Have a great week. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later.